Okay, you guys, let's talk about what we are going to cook up today. We are going to put the main oven on and make a roast. I've got to use up all these potatoes. They've been around for a little while. I need them gone. I'm going to parboil them and roast them. Also, just put the slow cooker on. It's literally just got hot water in there and some bay leaves and pepper. And what I'm going to put in there is this gammon, like this gammon joint. But I'm also going to add my chicken breasts in there. Obviously, they'll cook quicker, so I'll take them out. I have no idea if this is going to work. I'm not going to put any salt whatsoever because this tends to be salty i'm hoping it's gonna work out we'll see so we're gonna cook that as well on the side we're gonna cook these mushrooms up with garlic and butter we're gonna roast these as well we are gonna make some yorkshire puddings first we're gonna make the batter first so you can rest and then we're gonna make some bread because i didn't buy any this week and if I can, depend, see how I feel. Also gonna make a cake. So, I've got the chicken defrosting there, the chicken breasts. Um, yeah, let's just Okay, do I know it's really noisy in here, but that is on. So anyway, potatoes are on with, there's two stock cubes in here, because there's about a liter of water. Stock cube is for 100 milliliters so anyway i've added two this gives amazing taste to the potatoes and the moment i put that in i've put the oil for the potatoes in there to warm up and um, so when these are ready i'll take out the oil as well i also cooked some eggs already now i saw i think it was hillary from old world home asking um what is the easiest way to get the shells to peel on the eggs for me is plunging them into cold water as soon as they're done or iced water that's it that is it it has got to be cold really really cold uh, and as you can see the eggs got this egg time is usually white when the eggs are hot so it's gone cold as well so the eggs are cold the water's cold and that is it now i did want to ask you for your advice what is the best way to store the eggs so it doesn't stink up my fridge because in the shell when you open the door of the fridge you can smell the sort of um the eggs would i be better off peeling them and then putting them in a tupperware i don't know let me know if you've tried it let me know what hey, you guys, think i've just taken the oil out i've done the potatoes i gave them a little shake with flour one of you told me to do it with an oxo cube which i think would be amazing but i haven't got any so i just did it with flour so they're nice and crispy i'm just going to put them in here there you go you can see the oil sizzling i'm going to put that in the oven i'm also going to put the broccoli it's got olive oil salt and paprika okay. okay. i've just made the bread it's the milk bread that i make all the time so I'm just gonna leave it on top of the cooker there. I'm sure that's not hot. Feels warm, but it's not hot. Um, so it can rise. And what I'm gonna do now is tackle this washing up, um, especially that because I need to use that to make a cake. So yeah, let's do Okay, this. Yorkshire pudding time. I've just put a tiny little bit of oil in the bottom of the muffin tin. I'm gonna put that in the oven to heat up this oil really really hot and i've mixed the yorkshire pudding here this is the bbc good food show um recipes like 70 grams of flour 100 ml of milk two eggs salt and pepper done okay guys so now we are going to make dessert now i said i was going to make a cake but i've decided to do something else in a pan, you melt sugar to make caramel. In the meantime, in a blender, if you have one, I'm gonna use my Thermomix, you, oh, 
put three eggs, a cup of flour, a cup and a half of sugar, 600 ml of milk and one tablespoon of butter. Blend it all together. Okay. Yorkshire pudding time. Okay, so the caramel is done. I am going to tip the uh, tin very gently so the caramel coats the sides as well. Done. Okay, I'm going to leave it. I've already done the mixing of the other ingredients. I'm going to leave it before I put it in here until um, I'm ready to put it in the oven so it doesn't, yeah, I just want to keep it separate. In the meantime, how's this looking? Still not there yet. It is ready to go in. It has got like some bits on top and that's like the butter. But anyway, let's put it in. So if you saw my um, shopping video, I'm going to use this beef, which is already done. I'm just going to put it on the plate and then pour gravy over it. And that's going to warm it up. Um, or I might just pop it in the microwave for a few, a few seconds. Here is the bread ready to go in the oven. I just uh, glazed it with some egg. Let me just a bit of a problem with the Yorkshire puddings. They're stuck here, so they were still delicious. All the leftovers have been put here. We've got loads of potatoes. These will be delicious tomorrow. Um, all I'll have to do is I'll put them in the air fryer for a couple of minutes. They'll be delicious. There's the mushrooms that I cooked. There's some meat left over. There's just a little bit of broccoli. I might put that together with the other one. Paul put away all the washing up that was clean and loaded the dishwasher as well and this is what is left so it's not as bad as I thought. The meat is still cooking. Oh and the, that pudding thing is out. I'll show a bit later. It's just leaving it to cool down. Come on. Okay I forgot to show you guys. Here's the chicken. Um, I know it looks pink again, and it does actually look a bit pink in reality. I don't know if it got that from the ham, but it's very, very cooked, very fully cooked. I actually cooked it a bit too long. I forgot about it, to be honest. And I've just taken the ham out, just cut off this bit of fat there. I'm going to leave it to cool for a bit, and then I'm going to slice it, put it away in there. And of course... I am going to keep this stock. It's got like, I might strain it so it's a bit clearer and it doesn't, I don't know actually, usually I don't bother so I might not. Um, yeah, I'll probably end up freezing that. Just gonna leave it to cool completely and then sort that out. So I forgot to show you the bread. It got really big. I don't think the, um, sorry, the oven wasn't on high enough. So it cooked um, and it just got bigger and bigger. As so you can see the, I usually do a um, plat, which is what I did here. You can still see some of it, but it's just a bit, anyway, it will taste amazing, I know. So that's bread. I'm pretty chuffed with what we've achieved today. There we go, all ready. I'll leave it again to cool on the side, covered, and then it will go in the fridge tonight. So I forgot to finish that video, you guys. So Ozzy and I thought we would come over, hi, and say, thank you for watching. I will see you guys next time, bye. Say bye, Ozzy. Bye. <laughs> Are you so gorgeous? Hi. Um, yeah. <laughs> Hi. <laughs>